let's talk about the image automation controller. Before I talk about the image automation controller, let's understand a use case. Assume we have a Git repository which holds various manifest with respect to Nginx. It has a deployment manifest with Nginx image of version 1.0.0. To deploy this, we make use of the source controller as well as the customization controller. As part of the application development, let's assume the developers have merged new changes to the application code repository, which internally may trigger a CI pipeline. This CI pipeline builds a new image of version 1.2.0 and pushes it to the container registry. Now, to use the latest version, the deployment manifest should be updated. And instead of doing this manually, we want to automate this using Flux. So Flux has an image automation controller. So it has two controllers, the image reflector controller and the image automation controller, which works together to update a Git repository when new container image tags are available. So how does it work? The image reflector controller has two resources. The image repository resource, which scans container image repositories and fetches the image metadata, which includes the tags and versions. So we use a simple flux create image repository command to scan a image repository for metadata. And we can set up the scan interval and also optionally pass in the container registry authentication details along with the TLS certificates to connect with the repository host. So once we get the image tags or the versions, we can create a image policy, which is another custom resource to tell Flux which semantic versioning range to use while filtering the tags. So within this flux image policy, we define the sem worm at the sem version as 1.x.0, which looks out for any bumps in the minor version. And then we have the image automation controller. So this has a image update automation custom resource, which clones the Git repository updates the YAML file based on the latest images scanned by the image reflector controller and commits the changes to a given Git repository. So once the uh, repository is cloned, so how does this custom resource identifies the deployment YAML manifest which needs to be updated with the latest version? Because if we take this uh, repository as an example, it has four YAML files deployment YAML, service YAML, HPA YAML, and the service account YAML. So the updates can be controlled by marking fields to be updated in the YAML file. The marked field is represented using a comment. So the automation process checks the image policy, which is named in the comment and updates the field value. In our example, we have marked the image field within the deployment YAML manifest to which has to be updated. So once the YAML is updated, right? So once the YAML is updated, the image update automation controller will commit and push the changes to the specified branch. Since it is a change, the source controller will pull the updated manifest and the customization controller will apply the changes. So this is how the Flux image automation controller can be used for automating the image version updates within a Git repository. That's all for now. Thank you.